Welcome back to The Waste Zone, my friends. Today I wanted to do something a bit different, so stick with me as we dive in. While scrolling on my Pip-Boy, I noticed many Why You Wouldn't Survive videos on various different subjects. And as a survivor myself, I always thought, but how could I survive? And well, that led me to creating a new series called Why You Would Survive Fallout. In the series, we will be looking at almost everything from Fallout, such as creatures, robots, locations, and factions. And as the Lord of the Wasteland, I will be your guide as we explore all kinds of wasteland threats and how to survive them. So if you're looking to survive this radioactive hellscape, be sure to subscribe so you can vote for a scenario or an enemy to survive. And without any further ado, let's talk about the survival of our first creature, the Mole Rat. Now, I know what you're thinking, folks. Mole Rats. <sighs> they are pathetic. Well, not quite. These little dirt-munching chodes can be very dangerous in a pack. And don't even get me started on the Mole Rat Broodmothers. They are trouble and definitely in an open environment, being able to burrow through the ground and even pavement. They are fast, have sharp claws and even sharper teeth, and an extreme pain tolerance. So, these little rodents seem like a real threat. Now rather than telling you what a great meal you're going to make for them, here's where I show you how to make them a great meal for you. I believe that these creatures' greatest strength is also their greatest weakness. While burrowing through the ground, these rodents make quite a bit of noise, giving you plenty of time to get your weapons ready and catch the mole rats lacking when they pop out of the ground. There's plenty of time to strike mole rats when they emerge, ending them before they become a threat. However, if you're unable to strike during this time, get to high ground and specifically to an area where they can't climb to. This will allow you to strike uninterrupted before they inevitably retreat and wait for you. If you are somewhere where high ground is unavailable, then I recommend getting on the defensive as these creatures are very dumb and a good strike or shot is all that's needed. They may be able to attack decently, but they are quite weak, meaning that they are deadly in packs and are quite easy to kill on their own. In terms of damage resistance, pretty much anything is great for ending them, except for radiation, as they are immune to it. The only real type of mole rat that you should try to avoid is the mole rat landminer. The mole rat landminer is a unique mole rat that has landmines attached to it, making it explode when it gets near you or getting shot or damaged on the mines. So the best way to deal with them is to either shoot their mines or shoot their head before they get too close to you. Using melee weapons isn't gonna be ideal for these ones. Some weapons I would recommend against basic mole rats are flame weapons, shotguns, and two-handed melee weapons. Anything that you can use fast, easily, and that will keep the mole rat from biting you. Due to these mole rats being so weak, all you really need to do is get good hit in there and they're done for. Well, folks, that's going to be it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Uh, a little bit shorter, but I mean, we are fighting mole rats. So the next series, we're going to be talking about all kinds of different things. Um, but mole rats, I mean, they are pretty weak. They do have their advantages, like I've said. Um, but yeah, they're just little ground poppers that you can just, you know, pop and they jump out of the ground, honestly. So with all of that said, folks, get ready for more things. If you guys want to um, vote, I'm going to have a vote out pretty soon. Choose wisely because, you know, you don't know if you're going to encounter this creature or not, so the one you choose is going to be the one that you might not fight. So choose wisely, folks. With all that said, may the wasteland treat you with peace and prosperity.